Evil took your cousin's mother away from her. My sister. You have no sympathy for me? Or for charity? Well, Evil did that. I am really shocked that you're not blaming me for it. Because I've got that whole Evil connection thing going on, right? I mean, that's what you're accusing me of, isn't it? Besides, Mom, she wasn't an orphan for long. You and Dad took her in, and you started treating her better than you treat me, your real daughter. Hey, okay, just Get stop your talking. hands off me, you bitch! Of course you're entitled to be angry at Kay's behavior. But I never thought she'd start tossing around life-changing ultimatums without checking with me. Oh, come on, Sam. She's not gonna move out. She just knows she can get to us with a threat. It's all part of her drama queen act. Well, how can you be so sure? I mean, she seemed pretty serious to me. And now, of all times, when she's pregnant and alone, she needs to be close to her family. Oh, she's rejected her family. She's rejected you. I hate to be the one to have to say this. But if anyone had anything to do with those things happening, I would say you're the one who invited evil here. Are you stop it right there. Now, you can't possibly believe that our daughter's made some kind of a pact with evil forces. Oh, it would certainly explain her behavior these last couple of years. Sometimes I think she's possessed. You know what? I don't have to stand here anymore and listen to you say these horrible things about me. Honey, what do you know? Don't... No, Daddy, I'm sorry, but she's pushed me to this. Bye. Kay. Kay! How could you? What's happened to my family? Something wrong? You don't want to know. Yes, I do. Come on, what, does it have something to do with Kay? No, no, not this time. I just came from the Russells, and I just witnessed one of the ugliest domestic disputes that I've ever seen. I'm not between Eve and TC. I'm afraid so. Grace, you wouldn't have believed it if you had been there. TC gave it to Eve with both barrels. I mean, I am I'm really worried about our best friends. Clear. I'm sorry, Doctor. He's still a systole. He's expired. John, this one goes downstairs. I don't seem to be losing everyone today. I think you have a lot more trouble on your hands than just a few problems, Eve. It's all coming back to haunt you, you know. The horrible things you did to me and Mama. The despicable life you led. The booze, the drugs, the whoring around. That was so long ago, Liz, and it doesn't have anything to do with the person that I am now. Oh, that doesn't matter, Eve. The harm you've done can't be undone. Now it's gonna cost you your daughters and your husband. Your life is exploding, Eve. It's over. I can't let this happen. I can't lose anyone else. You try, Dr. Russell. You did everything you could for that last patient. But I'm afraid that we need you with another burn patient in cubicle four. Is this T.C. Russell? Uh, yeah. You should know that your daughter Whitney is at the Crane studio, spreading up the sheets with Chad Harris right now as we speak. Who is this? Just a concerned friend who thinks you should check on the situation before Whitney makes a mistake that she will regret forever. Who was it? That was an anonymous caller saying that Whitney was at the recording studio having sex with Chad. I thought she went out for fresh air. Chad must have tricked her to seeing him again. I'm going over there right now, and I'm going to kill that punk. Dear God, I think he's mad enough to do it. Wait. TC, I'm coming with you. How are you feeling? Happy. Content. <laughs> if only it could last. I'm sorry, Simone. Got so hurt when you found out about this. You know, and if only your parents weren't so upset, we could all get together and try to explain again. Well, it's my father who won't hear of it. Yeah, well, as bad a scene as it was with him, at least we're not hiding our feelings from each other anymore. And in time, 
Even he will have to accept us as a couple. Well, I certainly hope that you're right. He just has such a temper. And he still sees me as this little girl. You know, someone he's got to protect from the big bad world. If you only knew how much I loved you, you wouldn't be so worried or mad. We're going to give him some time to chill out, and then we'll go back to him. We'll make him understand. We will. Teresa, just come out of there. This is what we found. Move back. Go ahead. And I'll knock that door down. No, I don't think so. Our sister and nephew are in there. If you come any closer to that door with that axe, you're toast. Well, I know those hooligans and knock the door down. Try it. We dare you. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I don't get paid enough for this. You're right. Get it. Oh, give me that. What kind of little girls are you? Move back. One swing of that axe, Julian. One swing of that axe, I'll arrest you for domestic violence. Go ahead. But don't be mad at Julian. Teresa's to blame for this whole ridiculous situation. She's the one who barricaded herself in the room with the baby. I know this is hard, okay? It's the right thing to do. Julian made one for now, but you can count on me to help you get your son back. I promise you I'll be with you every step of the way. Thank God you and the baby weren't hurt. And you were right to listen to Ethan, huh? Now let's settle this misunderstanding. Misunderstanding my left foot. I want that woman out of this house this instant. Now do as I say or you're fired. <laughs> I don't think so. You heard him, Gareth. Come on, guys, move out of the way. Yeah, right? I, I move know you're guys. a big bad Come on, you are. I'm knock the door down. Yeah, okay, crawl back yeah. in your hole, okay? Yeah, I'd be bitter if I worked for that jerk. Please, too. Julian, I know that you are angry with me, but don't ask me to give him up. Don't punish him just because you are mad at me. I am his mother, Julian. I'm the only parent that he knows. I am his father. In due time, he will get used to me, so no. hand him over. Julian, please. Julian, you lay one finger on that baby. You're a dead man. You hear me? You hear me? Please, you don't lay one stop. finger on He's that not job. worth it. Go on, wait, get them all wait, off wait. me. Bad idea, fellas. Well, don't listen to, to him. You work for me. I'm warning you, you'll lose your jobs over this. You'll lose a lot more than that if you take another step. Bye-bye. Right. What? We're out of here. I quit. You're finished in this town. Did you hear me? You're finished. Something tells me they don't give a flying fig, Dad. From the looks of it, it seems as though you and Louise haven't told Antonio the truth yet. No, we haven't. Oh, Gwen, something happened. Something unbelievable happened. Well, tell me. You're not going to know whether to congratulate me or feel sorry for me. All right, easy now. Easy. Is it true? Is it true that you're not married to Julian? Yes, it is a fact. Which is why I want your gold digger sister out of this house right now. Shut up, Julian. Nobody's talking to you. Excuse me, but if you'd be willing to take me hostage instead of Julian, well, I'd be willing to make the sacrifice. Uh, and you call my daughter a tramp. I was just trying to help. I want to hear from you. Apparently it's true. My marriage to Julian wasn't real. So what I'm getting here is that Julian faked the wedding ceremony to get you into bed? Is that the truth? Th that's not the way it happened. I was as hoodwinked as Teresa. I mean, be logical. I would have kicked her out of this house a long time ago if I knew she wasn't my wife. He's got a point. So now my sister is a single mother. And a baby. That's right. He's, he's a bastard. <laughs> Oh! Oh! 
call. How in the world did you change your voice like that? Wait. I, I, I can't call my dad. He'll recognize my voice. Oh, that's okay. I'll do it. Yeah, I can disguise my voice like you wouldn't believe. You know, it's uh, the, the weirdest thing. Ever since I got pregnant, I've been, uh, you know, having all these weird changes. Hormones, I guess? I guess. If you ask me, it was pretty doggone freaky. If I were you, Simone, I'd worry less about Kay's voice and more about what her phone call to your father set in motion. Oh. If my father finds Whitney and Chad together, he is going to go crazy. It's not that I want to get them all upset, but... It'd be worth it if he finally gets mad at Whitney for a change. If he grounds her, it'll give me more time to spend with Chad and convince him that I'm the Russell sister that he is with. That's right. You want to know what would be really fun? If we went to watch it in person? Uh, I don't know about that, Kay. I mean, if they see us there, they could suspect that we're that we're involved. Not if we tell them we just happen to be walking by. Come on. You do not want to miss the fireworks. Studios on the second floor. It doesn't look like anyone is there. So listen, TC, you have nothing to worry about. Whoever called you was wrong. Let's just go. Yeah, maybe you're right. Wait a minute. I see him. I swear to you, if Whitney's up there, that boy's a dead man. Too. Okay. But it'll only make things worse, okay? Luis, you're oh. a policeman. Remember that. No matter how upset you are at this pig. You're lucky I'm not alone right now, Julian, because I would wring your neck with my bare hands. And what hands he has. I'm gonna get some answers from you right now. So how is it that you're not legally married to my sister? And I'm warning you. If I find out that you tricked her into this marriage, just try and get her into bed, Julian. No, 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 no. You see, it, it did not happen that way. I was as duped as Teresa into thinking that our Bermuda marriage was valid. Some so-called friends of mine thought it would make it an amusing, practical joke. Hey, dude. Now, why didn't you tell me you're having a party up here? Hi. That's him. That's the friend of Julian's who arranged the entire fake marriage ceremony. <laughs> oh, I guess you thought that was pretty funny, huh? Yeah. Yeah, in fact, I did. Well, maybe you'll think that this is funny, too. Well, Sam, what were Eve and TC arguing about? Simone and Whitney. It turns out that they're both in love with Chad. 
Oh, no. It's a lot like the situation between Kay and Charity over Miguel. Only thank God neither of the Russell girls are pregnant. I still can't believe that Kay's gonna have Miguel's baby. That makes two of us. You know, if you had told me a year ago that my oldest daughter would be pregnant and living with Tabitha because she couldn't stand to live in the same house with me, I never would have believed it. But to make matters worse, Charity is heartbroken, and Miguel's torn in two, trying to be responsible and follow his heart at the same time. I just pity Eve and TC if they have to go through any of what we've gone through. But, you know, it, it doesn't make sense. I mean, you said that TC's lashed out at Eve. He blames her for everything. What? He accused her of putting her medical career before being a good wife and mother. Oh, that's ridiculous. I mean, just because Eve is a dedicated doctor, it doesn't mean that she's ever put anything before her children or her husband. You know, TC's never complained about Eve's work before. Or maybe we never heard him. Maybe it's been a sore subject with them all along. I mean, all I know is TC was dead serious. I've never heard him talk to her that way before. Okay, he's stabilized. Get him up to the ICU. Should be a few minutes before the next patient. Thanks. Chad recording up there? I don't know, Uncle Chad. They're fighting. That's when he's screaming. Wait. You stay here. I'll go see if anyone needs help. No. I'm not staying down here. What if my dad is taking it out on, on Chad instead of Whitney? Music to my ears. Fluffy! Wait, no, 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 no. no. Stay back. You can't help him any more than I could. You know, you deserve that and more. Nobody messes with our sister and gets away with it. All right, come on. This isn't helping anything. Bruce, just get out of here. Yeah. Ethan, please stay out of this. It's not your fight. Look, what you did with Teresa earlier, barricading yourself in her bedroom with her, could have cost you your job when we need it most with our baby on the way. Honey, I was just trying to keep Teresa from being separated from her baby, okay? No matter what anybody thinks of her, no infant deserves to be ripped from her mother's arms. And I completely agree, Ethan. It's just that it's not your fight. Teresa can get her own lawyer, and she has plenty of family to stand behind her. From the looks of things, huh? Then now might be a good time for you to scuttle on out of here. Not so fast. I think you need the proper Lopez Fitzgerald escort to the front door. Well, no, no it's, it's quite all right. I think I can find my own way. I think he needs a little help, huh? Oh, I think he definitely does. You guys are nuts! Just wanted to have some fun! Hey! hey. Hey, you show your face around here next time, we're not gonna be so nice! Stop it! Let me go, Liz! No. I gotta stop this! No, Whitney, you just get hurt! Let him go! Daddy, no! Simone! Why did I let you talk me into you making that phone call to my father? Because it's the only chance you have of being with Chad again, Simone. You mean if he doesn't kill him first? Well, she's not gonna kill him. Chad's giving as good as he's getting. Get off of me! That punk took advantage of my girls, and I'm gonna teach him a lesson! Daddy, 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 no! Stop it! You keep getting it wrong! I told you! Chad didn't take advantage! 
advantage of anyone. I came here tonight on my own. I needed to be with him after everything that happened tonight at home. Okay, I was with him because I love him, Dad. No! You know, Sam, it just doesn't make any sense. Eve and TC have never had any problems. I mean, next to us are the happiest couple in harmony. Look what's happened to us. Do you, do you think it's something we did? Or is there a terrible pall that is hanging over harmony that keeps everybody from being happy? I mean, I think of all the couples we know that are having problems. I mean, what is going on? I wish I knew. But at least in our case, we know where the trouble started when David Hastings came to town and took up residence right next door to B&B. You know what, Sam? That's just not fair. Because Ivy was a problem long before that, and she still is by living in our garage apartment. Look, it really doesn't matter where it started. But we're doomed if we don't try to get a handle on our lives very soon. You know, if we keep living the way we have been, we're going to lose our family and each other forever. What if Liz made good on her threat to tell T.C. the truth about me? <laughs> oh, God. Liz is in there with T.C. Then you're not mad at me for telling you about Eve's past? Of course not. It's better to find out now than later. You know, I was this close to losing my little girl. Oh, don't you worry about Whitney and Simone. I'll talk to them. They'll understand it was Eve who destroyed the fabric of your family with all her lies. Everything is going to be all right now that the truth is out in the open. <laughs> You'll see, T.C. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no! No! God. It's all right, Dr. Russell. Everybody loses a patient once in a while. He'll save the next one. <sighs> Say something to me. Come on. And this is all your fault. You couldn't keep your hands off the man that I love. If he is dead, it's all because of you. He's got a pulse. Oh, I'll call 911 and get an okay. ambulance over here. Sorry. Wait, hang on, hang on. How do you feel? I'm a little sore. Well, let me help you up. Hold on. Sorry. Right. Come here. For once, Daddy, Whitney is telling the truth. It is not Chad's fault. This is all her fault. She's the one who set all of this in motion. A little girl wouldn't act like this all on her own. Your mother and I raised you both better than this. Sneaking around the middle of the night with some street punk. Chad is not a punk. And I told you I didn't sneak out to do anything, okay? I'm an adult in the eyes of the law, allowed to make my own decisions. And all I did was walk out the front door of my house to be with the man that I love. How can you love somebody well, like that? Well, I do. Like it or not, Daddy, I'm in love with Chad. And Teresa, maybe you just don't see it yet. This is a blessing in disguise. Had you not married to that sleaze bag, and you can move back in with us where you belong, and it's just, you start rebuilding your life, all right? 
Come on, let's get out of here. Okay. You can no. take your sister, but the baby stays here. <laughs> Hell, he is. It's my nephew. He's coming with us. Come no, he's on. not. This temporary writ of custody that I showed you will soon become permanent. I'm the baby's father. He stays here. Ethan. Is this legit? I mean, come on. It depends how you define legit. I mean, Julian has Judge Riley in his back pocket. It's a miracle the guy's still on the bench. There's got to be something that we can do. There's nothing we can do tonight. To be brutally honest, it's going to take a while to mount a defense. But for now, Julian has legal custody of that baby. Julian, how could you do this to Teresa? No matter what your feelings for, she's still the baby's mother. And I'm his father. She's hogged the boy ever since the day he was born. It's time he got to, to know his daddy. Coochie coo. Coochie coochie coochie. Oh, please, father, spare us. We all know how strong your paternal feelings are. Well, with any luck, this son will turn out a hell of a lot better than you did, Crane, one I can be proud of. Hand him over. You can forget it. No, I don't care what this Judge Riley says. Come on, let's go. This baby's coming with us. Luis, I understand how you feel, but if you defy this court order, it's gonna hurt Teresa's case and help Julian's. The court will see it as contempt. She could lose her son for good. something you can do here. You're an attorney, aren't you? Riley confirmed that he signed it himself. But look, I'll look it over again, try to find some irregularities in it. No, I didn't think that I could ever hate you any more than I already did. I was wrong. You were a disgrace of a human being. Now, Julian, what kind of person keeps a baby away from his own mother? Especially a so-called man and a father. I'm afraid that Luis and Antonio are going to be fighting the same way over Sheridan's baby. Let's hope not, Mama. Don't worry, fellas. I'll take good care of little Ethan for your sister. I mean, look what a wonderful job I did raising my little Gwenny. There is no way I will let you anywhere near my grandson. Uh, oh, excuse me. Since when have you been considered a judge of my maternal instincts? Rebecca, the only instincts you possess are those of an alley cat. You are nothing but a slut in overpriced clothing. Uh, oh, did you hear that, Julian? She's insulting me again. What? Oh, yes, dear. Uh, oh, look. Look, Teresa's escaping. She's kidnapping the baby. Come on, another step. The baby's not leaving the house. Sam, you don't mean that. I mean, we may not be legally married, but we have a life together. I mean, home, children, years of love, that's not just going to disappear. I'm afraid it could if things keep going the way they have. Grace, I want nothing more than to go back to how things used to be between us, but we can't. Well, Sam, if you're going to make this all about David... Well, how can I help it, Grace? I mean, he's the one that won't give you the annulment so we can get married in the eyes of the church. As long as he keeps holding out, there's no way that we can be husband and wife. Sam, I, I can't ask him to lie before church. But and before... you could. Grace, if you really love me. Okay, Sam, so if he lies, Ivy's still going to be living under our roof. Oh, well, this isn't getting us anywhere. And besides, I'm not married to Ivy. I've never been married to Ivy. And as soon as she's physically strong enough, she's moving out. Well, she's still going to be a problem. For you? Not for me. Grace, until you're willing to face some cold, hard facts, like your marriage to another man, there's just no way that we're going to be able to put our lives back on track again.
Whitney, you don't mean what you're saying. Maybe somehow this boy has messed with your mind and got you on drugs or something. Oh, so now we're back to the drugs. Daddy, Chad is as good and decent as any man I've ever met. And he would never do anything like that, and neither would I. Well, you know what? We'll talk about that at home. Get your coat and let's go. <sighs> you know what? I'll finish getting ready and come home with you. But only if Chad comes, too. We all need to talk about this. Whitney, forget about it, all right? There's no way that boy is coming to our house ever again. He has caused too much pain and too much sorrow in our household. And I'm not going to let it happen again. Now, get your coat. We're going to call your mother from the hospital. She's going to come home. We're going to all four sit down in the kitchen, and we're going to have a discussion like we always do and hash out our family problems. Daddy, we haven't done that in years. Not since I was a little girl. Which, in case you haven't noticed, I'm not anymore. Oh, yeah, well, I've noticed. And I don't think you want to remind me of that right now, do you? Now, stop arguing with me and get your damn stuff and let's go! No. I'm not leaving. Where the hell do you think you're going? Away from here, Julian. If you walk out that door with that baby, I'm going to have you arrested. Not so fast, Julian. Teresa is free to leave the house with the baby. Well, what about the writ of custody? Even you admitted it was an order. I'm going to have you disbarred after I call the cops and have Teresa arrested. Aren't you forgetting something, Julian? I am a cop. There's no need for the police. What Teresa is doing is perfectly legal. Thanks to your very own signed writ of custody. I can't believe that you feel so negative about our future. I mean, I thought what we shared was stronger than that. So did I. Until I realized how important David Hastings is to you. Now, Grace, look at the facts. You and I have been leading two totally separate lives. I mean, we don't even share a bed anymore. Is that what this is about, our not sleeping together? It's more than that, and you know it. We don't even find time to talk important issues through anymore. And that isn't Kay's fault or Charity's or even Ivy's or David's. So what are you saying? I'm saying that our marriage, uh, no, excuse me, our relationship isn't as strong as it used to be. <sighs> Our marriage is in serious trouble. Sam, you make it sound so dire. It is. Chief Bennett. What? Yeah, sure, I'm on my way. There's been a gas explosion at the refinery outside of town. I gotta go, okay? Listen, we'll talk about this later. Maybe you're right, Sam. Something does always get in the way. Dr. Russell, do you want me to bring the next patient in? Dr. Russell? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Bring, bring them in. Okay. very much and I'm not asking you I am telling you I love you too daddy but I'm not leaving here unless you agree to let me see Chad open my dead body that boy is rotten to the core he has your mind so screwed up you don't know what's important Chad anymore. is important to me no he's not your tennis is important now, enough with this boy turning your head. You need to redirect yourself to your tennis. Redirect yourself to your game. 
and return to your family and forget this low-life thug ever existed. No. I love him. I just want to be with him. That's all. Well, that's not going to happen. Because as of right now, he is out of your life for good. I don't like what the evil forces are doing to Simone's dad, and I want him to stop right now. Hmm. You said his behavior has anything to do with the dark side. What you're seeing now are his own inner demons at work. Please, Daddy, don't make me choose between my family and the man that I love. Whitney Russell, I know what's best for you. Do as I say. You were putting your daughter in a terrible position. Making her choose between the people she loves. I don't want to hear a word from you, boy. Shut up! Now, Whitney, enough of this stalling. Let's go home now. No, I meant what I said, Daddy. I am not leaving here without the man that I love. Sheridan's pregnant. Who's the father? Sometimes I just... I think it'd be easier for everyone if I just disappeared. Julian could end up with permanent custody of my grandson. If you don't leave with him, 